yeah, so second week of ownership after the dyno video. My car is misfiring now. Let me see. It's misfiring like a motherfucker. It's not doing it now, but yesterday I checked on the coil pad because I got a check engine light code for misfire detected in cylinder two. I took out the coil pack and I saw oil all over it. So I bought a new valve cover gasket with grommets, everything. So hopefully I'm gonna clean off the oil on the, on the coil pack and change the valve cover gasket and hope that this doesn't happen again. Now, if I still get a, you know, a misfire detected in cylinder two, then I'm gonna fucking have to change the coil packs, which I have a whole set of coil packs at my boy's garage that I have brand new. So I'm gonna go there later today after he comes back from getting dyno tuned. Hopefully this resolves the issue because I just got the fucking car back, bro. See, it's starting to misfire right now. Let me go to the back to... That's not right, man. At first, I thought maybe it's because I got cams, but I have not too aggressive of, of a cams, you know? They're just 2.2s. And I noticed that it hesitates a little bit in low RPMs. Hopefully, I can make it back home, but we'll see. And then I'll fix this stupid fucking car. But you can see the RPM. So we're right here at the motor. I don't see any oil leaks or anything. Honestly, I don't know why I'm changing the valve cover gasket, but fuck it. So I'm gonna have to, this is very easy to do on a K-Series. Just all of these fucking screws to take off and then these screws, literally just a 10 mil socket. And you need a deep one, a regular one, and maybe one with an extension on it, probably. Very easy. So cylinder one is obviously good. See that? Fresh fucking oil all over cylinder two. is going on all right so it was now the next day after i changed the um i didn't change anything but i did change the valve cover gasket see it has the fell pro get valve cover gasket i changed that spark plug grommets or whatever and the um and i and the coil pack on cylinder two that you saw that i was drenched in oil I cleaned all of the oil out of the spark plug. I took the spark plug out, cleaned the oil off of the spark plug, and I put everything back together. It's actually the next day. It's the last clip y'all saw. It was kind of gloomy outside, but yeah, I've actually driven the car around, I would say 70 miles. Yeah, I've driven the car 70 miles yesterday. I went 30 miles upstate and 30 miles back down to where I live car was completely fine did like did a couple of pulls or whatever and it did very well and we back here today just checking on the coil pack there's it's not drenched in oil or anything which i'm very hyped for but yeah we're just putting it back together so far idle is good the car was pretty warm anyway i let it cool off for like 10 minutes maybe but yeah, that's the key right there. Sounds good.
All right, guys, I'm driving the FA5 right now. So far, ever since that I put the coil packs back in the, um, the motor or whatever, I put 74.1 miles on the car. It's been driving great, no issues, no nothing. And it has been pulling really good for the whole time as well. I'm trying to, you know, record a little pull for you guys right now. Hopefully, doesn't have no bullshit wind noise or anything. But for the most part, she's, she fucking boogies. She fucking rips.